Welcome to the 30s Guide. My name is Prisca Jordan and in this week's video, I spent a ridiculous amount of money on clothing. No, just kidding. If the thumbnail got you, what actually happened is that I rented clothing and that is the true value of the clothes, but I rented it for about $120 for the month. I have been using Rent the Runway for the last several years to help enhance my personal style and to try different pieces to play with my style that are high quality designer pieces that I can get for a much cheaper cost just by renting them. There are a few scenarios in which I would really recommend you consider renting clothing versus buying. The first scenario you might want to rent clothing for is for special occasions. And for this I mean like if you're a guest at a wedding and you want to get a special dress, I always rent a special dress for my wedding anniversary or if you're going to a holiday party and you want something that's a little bit more pizzazz but you don't necessarily want to hold it as inventory in your closet all year. And Lastly, if you're taking photos for a special occasion, I take photos for my brand quite a bit and I like renting clothing because that allows me to go for something a little bit more audacious without feeling like then I have to justify how I'm going to wear it throughout the year. Scenario number two for why you would want to rent clothing instead of buying it is for vacation. And I have a great example in this Rent the Runway haul, which is a ski jumpsuit for vacation I'm going on. Obviously, I do not wear a ski suit in my regular life, so it's nice to just rent the piece for my ski trip and then return it so I don't have the expense of that ski suit. Another example is if you're going on a tropical vacation and maybe you want to get some Something that you know looks like Hawaiian or Caribbean or something but it doesn't match your normal life so I like renting clothing for this as well because that allows you to have a little bit more creativity in what you're wearing without feeling like it has to fit in with your normal closet and lastly a big reason why I use rent the runway throughout the year not just during the holidays or for travel is to play around with new styles and cuts and colors just to see how I feel in it. So sometimes I will rent a piece rather than buying it because I can try it on and see what it's like in my everyday life. And then if I really like it, I'll try to find a similar piece to buy. You can even buy the piece that you rent from Rent the Runway, which is pretty brilliant. It's like you're trying it on at a fraction of the cost. And speaking of cost, Rent the Runway also calculates how much the value is for the items that you've rented. So you can get that value for piece by piece, but it's shown me that over my history with Rent the Runway, I've rented almost $28,000 of designer clothing with Rent the Runway. And that just shows me that I really have gotten high value out of this membership. And I've really enjoyed playing with new styles that I wouldn't really be daring enough to buy but by renting it it allows me to have a little bit more fun and creativity as I'm getting dressed. So for those three reasons I would recommend Rent the Runway to you. Special occasions, vacations or travel, and just to play around with style a little bit more. And here are some pieces that I rented recently from Rent the Runway. I actually tried to mix it up between a high price point and a low price point. I want to see what I can learn about style and quality from these rental pieces. So here goes that recent try on. For this first piece, I rented a vest that is $2,150 because I'm just curious what makes a $2,000 vest. So this first piece is a black and gray vest by Giamba and that is labeled by Giambattista Bali, which you may have heard of because he dresses a lot of stars. I in particular think about this H&M collaboration he did and um, one of the Kardashians wore this dress that looked like a loofah but like make it fashion and so he's kind of been known to dress a lot of celebrities on the red carpet. Now this is a Parisian label so it's going to be much more high fashion than what I ordinarily wear and that's what's great about Rent the Runway is that I can get pieces that I wouldn't want to wear necessarily like on a Monday but it's just fun to have. So I recently took this up to Asheville on my anniversary trip and it was a really great piece for that but I also wanted to understand the quality of it. It's like why is this a $2,000 vest? 
So the material itself, I think is a high quality material. It's 40% wool, 20% alpaca, and 20% mohair, which is a really nice blend and it feels very high quality. Like this is a piece that I think should be able to last you for decades until it's vintage, which I can't really say about everything in my wardrobe, so that automatically does give it a little bit more value. But I think really the value why it's a $2,000 piece is because it is done by Gian Battista Valli, which is a Parisian designer to the stars. It is really special. It's not something you're going to see on anybody else when you're wearing it. Um, I would definitely say this is one that it's much better to rent than to buy. The second piece I want to show you is a hot pink blazer that costs $950. I wore it in a recent video talking about fashion trends and that dopamine dressing which is trendy right now is that bright pop of color. Even throughout the winter you're going to see this and this is a really great piece for renting so that you can include that trend throughout the winter without outright buying the piece. Now comparably J. Crew has a variety of bright colored even this hot pink colored velvet blazer, but I checked the price and it's over $200. So if you're not necessarily into it that much, then renting it as part of your monthly membership, I think is a really great option. This velvet blazer is 100% cotton. Now a lot of times with velvet, you're going to get polyester, which is going to be heavier and just not as pretty and certainly not as good of a fabric for the environment. So I was glad to see that this velvet is 100% cotton. So when you're paying for a higher piece, typically you are going to get a better fiber and fabric out of that. Next up we have this brown sequin mini dress and this is a $795 dress. And this is by the label Tossin. They are a pricier label. So this is a really good example of another piece you would might want to rent instead of buy. So by renting this, I can add it to my holiday wardrobe this year. But I will say that the cut of this dress is perfect. And that is something that you can expect with the higher end prices. The fit is going to be much more precise than what you might get at like a really kind of low end brand. This next piece has got to be my favorite piece of clothing I have ever rented from Rent the Runway. It is a navy and brown wool cape and it retails for $1,660. And it is a wool blend, meaning that it's 77% wool. Um, you typically aren't going to see 100% wool because it's nicer to combine that fiber with other fibers. Um, wool can be very itchy and it is a little bit heavy. So by keeping it the majority of the fabric, but combining it with other fibers, you're going to get a better blend of a fabric. I recently wore this piece on a trip to the mountains and I just felt like it transformed my personality by wearing it. The details on this piece are impeccable. I felt so refined and sophisticated and it was definitely a showstopper of a piece. This next piece is an all-in-one ski jumpsuit by the brand Sweaty Betty, which is out of London. They make athletic clothes. I would say they're kind of like the Lululemon of the London scene. And this jumpsuit retails for $650. This ski jumpsuit is super flattering. The cut is so cute. I'm going skiing next month and I already own like a ski jacket and ski pants because I go at least every year. But if you're going skiing for the first time or you only go once a year, then I think renting is a really good option because skiing can be really expensive, especially once you start adding up all the clothing that you don't already own. I think it's really cool that Rent the Runway offers these ski outfits and I might even keep this one for my ski trip for next month. That's one of the options with renting clothing is that you can send it back as soon as you've worn it once or you can wear it as much as you want and keep it on as part of your rental membership. This next piece is a $448 dress by American designer Trina Turk and it is so beautiful. Now this is a piece that you can tell is a $500 dress just by looking at it, 
but in wearing it as well, like it was just really comfortable for something that I would consider a formal dress. The only problem is that I rented it in my true size and a lot of times with dress sizes, you need to size up. And that was the case with this one. I felt like it was just a little bit too tight. Now I could have sent it back and gotten a different size for free with Rent the Runway, but I really only wanted it for one event and that event was like the next day. So I ended up not wearing it but it is a beautiful dress and I think this would make a really good dress as a wedding guest or for a holiday party this is probably one that I will end up renting again this next piece is a navy velvet turtleneck by Pat Bow, and it retails for $295. I talked about this one in my trends video as well because this piece is so trendy. It's not something I would want to buy because it's not going to be you know, popular in a few years. And if I'm spending $300 on a sweater, I better be wearing it for a decade. <laughs> but this piece has that really trendy velvet texture. It has the mock neck collar and the puff sleeve. Leaves. and all together it makes it a really trendy piece which is better for me to rent than to buy and it's so gorgeous especially the way that that velvet fabric catches the light it creates such beautiful dimension while you're wearing it now the last piece I wanted to show you is one that isn't necessarily expensive but it's one that I would want to rent just because the color this is a $230 coat from the brand Noise, and it is a beautiful magenta color, but I don't necessarily think I would want it for several years, so that's why I wouldn't want to buy it, but it's a great little statement piece for this winter for me to rent. Just like I used this haul of rentals to learn about high quality, this is a lower quality coat, and I wanted to see if I could really tell that. And this coat is supposed to look like a wool coat, but it's actually 100% polyester. And I can kind of tell that this isn't a very expensive piece because the fabric is really heavy. It's very thick, but it's not that warm. And the thing with natural fibers like wool and cashmere, especially cashmere, it tends to be much more insulating than it is heavy. And that's the difference in this polyester coat versus one that has wool or cashmere in it, is that this one is just really heavy. Now as a rental, it worked out great for me because I wanted something that was just a little bit more fun and festive. I own a wool coat that is black, but for a rental, I wanted to try something a little bit more fun and this coat really checked the box. And that's all the pieces I have to show you from this recent haul. I hope that this has inspired you to maybe try Rent the Runway for those special occasion pieces or if you're going to be traveling or just to try to mix up your style a little bit more. I say this all the time, but the point of style isn't to create the perfect outfit and just reproduce it all the time. It's really to have fun and experiment and express your personality. So hopefully this video has inspired you to try some new looks and use Rent the Runway if that's something that would help you play with your personal style. Thanks for joining me for this week's video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I have a new video coming every week helping you enhance your personal style in your 30s. I'll see you next week with a brand new video. Until then, take care.